I'm with a bunch of friends in Colorado. We're here for a mini Nemo. Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. I've got something a little bit different this week because I'm kicking off a brand new organization called Makers Care. For a long time now, I've been wanting to set up a charity fundraising organization that draws upon the power of makers and builders and crafters and artists and DIYers. Please check out makerscare.org and see how you can get involved and help out. For our first fundraiser, we're raising money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation by making airplanes. One of the biggest expenses in granting wishes to children with life-threatening medical conditions is air travel and we wanted to bring awareness to this issue by making planes. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a really simple wooden plane. They're both basically the same, pretty simple to build and I've got free plans down below. Now we need your help to make a plane out of anything you like. It can be paper or cardboard or Legos or you can paint a picture of a plane. When you're all done with it submit a picture or a video of your plane over at makerscare.org. For every plane or video submitted I'm donating five dollars to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and I've got corporate sponsors such as Micro jig on board too. I really hope you'll get involved and I've made a separate announcement video that explains this in more detail. If you're only going to watch one of my videos this entire year, please watch that video. Now let me show you how I made my planes. This project is a really fun way to use up some scrap wood. After downloading and printing out this cutting template, I can cut out all of the pieces and paste them to the boards using spray adhesive. I'm going to use my bandsaw to cut these out. Other options would be a scroll saw or a jigsaw or even a handsaw. I want the wings to be thinner than the fuselage, so I'm resawing it into two pieces. If you're gonna make the biplane, drill out these holes for the struts before you split the wing into two pieces. That way, they'll all line up. I also need to split the wood in half for the rear stabilizer wing and the propeller. I'm gonna spend a lot of time sanding and shaping everything just to make sure it's really smooth. I'm gonna mark where I need to drill these holes now so I can peel off the paper. I'll use a round over bit to round over the edges of the fuselage. For the thinner pieces, I'll just have to round them over by hand using sandpaper. Now I can drill the holes for the dowels that are going to hold the wheels. Trying to make your own wheels and make them perfectly round is really difficult. I recommend just buying wheels at the craft store. Now I can glue these dowels into those little holes. The important part here is that both of these holes line up so the axle can go through them. So I'm going to use this dowel for the axle and I can just twist these into place. And make sure it spins freely. Glue this tail piece into place. These four dowels are going to be the struts that hold the two wings of the biplane together. Now I can glue the wings on. The axle is going to spin freely. I'm going to glue the wheels onto the ends. 
I just want to make sure I don't get any glue on the little posts. Okay, I'll let that dry and cut off those ends. Now I can attach the propeller. And I'll countersink that hole. I'll protect these by applying a few coats of spray lacquer. Well, I think those turned out pretty cool. In case you were wondering, that red wood is Paduk and the darker wood on this one is cherry. The biplane is all made out of pine. Don't forget, I've got free plans you can download down below in both Imperial and Metric. If you'd like to own one of these planes, these will be part of the raffle that we're having at the Mega Mimo Meetup in Kansas City on September 26th. It's a free event and I hope you can attend. There's more information also down below. Mostly, please check out makerscare.org and please get involved any way you can. Make an airplane out of anything you like and submit your picture. YouTubers especially, I'd love to see your videos. There's a special link over there where you could post your videos. And spread the word. The more people we can get involved in Makers Care the more money we can raise for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Thank you once again. Thank you for watching Woodworking for Mere Mortals, and I will see you next week.